everyone and welcome back to my channel Well guys today we're going to continue working on the new monster high dolls and this time I'm going to repaint this beautiful Claudine doll I've actually just received the new Draculaura and I felt super tempted to start working on the new Draculaura doll because I really love this new curvy doll but you know I've actually just repainted two other Draculauras I mean the old ones and I've also just repainted the new Laguna Blue doll who also has the same pink skin tone nowadays and you know I suddenly felt enough of it I felt like I would love to work on some different skin tone and on some different vibe and that's why today we are going to repaint this beautiful Claudine I really love her I think this is the cutest doll actually of this new collection no, maybe the Fra Frank is maybe the cutest to me and then Claudine is the second or they are approximately equal so let's first of all unbox this doll let's take a look at all the accessories because I really love this new collection of Monster High dolls and I really enjoy discovering all these new accessories all these tiny details and then we'll give this doll a complete makeover so guys of course please don't forget to subscribe to my channel hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos I upload them almost every week Friday sometimes every second week Friday depends on how big the project is and of course don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes and now let's start working let's take a closer look at this beautiful Claudine doll and then let's make a werewolf doll I'm not actually an expert and werewolves at all this is gonna be my first werewolf doll on this channel but I'm very excited about it I think I know what I'm gonna make So this is the doll and everything in her look seems to be moon themed because you know knowing the moon cycle is extremely important for werewolves she has a moon necklace a moon belt her earrings also represent a crescent moon and there is a full moon cycle printed on her outfit then she has a handbag also with a crescent moon and some claw marks on it The hairbrush also has a crescent shape and you know this doll has very beautiful long hair by the way so she needs some sort of a brush to take care of it Here is a bag of crescent moon snacks This blue thing, I don't even know what it is, I guess this is blue moon spookies mentioned on the box, but I'm not sure exactly what it is, some sort of cookies I guess. The glasses are not moon themed, just regular sunglasses. Yeah, her cell phone case looks like a wolf, yeah, it looks interesting, I like it. And then she also has a very fluffy jacket yeah it looks very fun I just don't really like this kind of fur it looks kind of cheap to me I don't know I have better faux fur for her to use in this project and here is also a tiny pet so this is the doll with all the accessories I think she looks really beautiful but I also think that she can become even more beautiful in the end of this makeover so now let's undress her let's warm up and disconnect her head and after this I will remove her face with pure acetone
Oh, check it out. She has also fur imitation on her legs and arms and also here on her face. That's nice. I really like these kind of details. Okay, everything is gone, the canvas is clean, and I want to start the makeover with adding a pair of wolf teeth made out of Warbler thermoplastic, because I think that real 3D teeth will look better than the painted ones. Great! The teeth look really awesome, so now I can seal her face with a couple of layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant and then I can start drawing. I'm going to keep her original color scheme, but I want to add some more drama to it.
Okay, this is where I will stop working on her face for now. I was actually just on time to finish it before going on holidays. So now I'm back with some color to my skin and I'm ready to continue working on this doll. And I want to start with making her outfit because I want it to be very icy, very sparkly, but I don't want it to be just plain white or just silver. I want it to be kind of more interesting than this. So I will use this beautiful piece of material for it. I don't know how to call it. I've got it from one of you quite a long time ago and now it's time to make something special out of it. This is of course not a perfect material for dressmaking. It's something in between, I don't know, carton and faux leather. It's quite hard but you know I think it will work if I make the dress not too slim fitted. <laughs> And check it out guys, I don't know, I think it worked. I think I've got a very beautiful shiny dress. It looks very pretty, very sparkly and the fitting is actually absolutely perfect. I'm very happy about this dress. So now I want to use this piece of pastel rainbow fur to make a long coat for her. And you know, I feel like I've got influenced by the Wednesday's friend in it from the new Wednesday show by the werewolf girl in this project because this is exactly her color scheme and I feel like she would love to wear this kind of an outfit. So this is what I've made, check it out, I think it looks really cute. It's winter style, but it's also colorful and sparkly at the same time, not just white and silver. And I've also added a white fur scarf, I think it fits perfectly here. So now I think I'm done with it. I think the outfit looks very pretty and now I want to make a pair of winter boots for her. And I want to use this axe pattern from my Froggy Stuff YouTube channel to make my boots because I always wanted to try to make a pair of axe for my dolls. But I want to use a different assembling technique. So I will use white foam paper for my future boots and instead of sewing the details together, I will connect them with hot glue.
and this is what I've ended up making so far. I don't know, it looks super cute, very happy with my boots. So now let's paint them and first of all I want to cover the soles with silver and then I will paint the rest of the boots with Mod Podge Extreme Glitter. Here are my super shiny and sparkly winter boots. I think they look absolutely amazing, but I'm not completely done yet because I want to make a couple of kind of removable fur sleeves, or I don't know how to call them properly, something to put on top of the boots. I think it will look really nice and I also really like when you can transform doll outfits. These are the finished boots, so my doll can wear them just white and sparkly without any fur or she can turn them into warm and fluffy winter boots. Super nice, I'm very happy, so now I think I can blush her body and then we'll style her hair. Okay, the face and the body look good together, now let's move on to her hair and I want her to have really giant hair too, because she has really long hair, so I think a bunch of curls will look really great on her.
and guys <laughs> check out her curls I don't know I think she looks absolutely wild so cool very happy with her curls so now let's attach false lashes add gloss to her eyes and lips and then I will make the last tiny detail for her look So I want to make ear warmers for her out of two buttons and a piece of fur because I feel like she needs some white fur element in her hair and her hairdo is way too big to put a hat on top of all these curls so I think a pair of these fluffy headphones like ear warmers will look really great on her. And I'm going to use a ring of a plastic bottle to connect these two fluffy buttons together. A touch of glitter and we're done guys the very last cute tiny detail for my doll is finished so now let's put it all together and then we'll take a look at the end result pictures so guys here is my finished arctic werewolf but I don't really feel like I've explained my concept properly this time because I was recording the intro before going on holidays planning to explain my idea later in the video when I would start working on her outfit but then when I come back from my vacation and I started working on her outfit weeks later I thought I had already explained everything in the intro so it kind of got missed a little bit but I think you've got it from the thumbnail and from the title of this video I was going to make an arctic werewolf, a mix of a girl and a polar wolf, the one with white fur, but I didn't want to make it plain white or just silver, but I wanted to be very shiny, very sparkly and a little bit colorful. And then later I felt like I got influenced by Init from Wednesday, so I added more pastel elements and my arctic werewolf turned into pastel werewolf or pastel arctic werewolf something like this but i'm absolutely not mad about it she looks absolutely gorgeous i feel like she looks more dangerous and dramatic than the original version of this doll but she also looks really fluffy and very stylish at the same time so i'm very happy about this doll so and if you want to add this doll to your collection you can find it on ebay for three days like always the link is in the description box under this video so please check it out so and that was my doll transformation of the week, I really hope you've enjoyed it today and if so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, of course hit the bell button to get notified about new doll repaint videos and don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes. And I will see you very soon, maybe next week Friday, maybe in two weeks, I don't know, I'm still in process, I'm in the middle of a couple of bigger projects, so I will let you know when it's gonna come. So. Please have a nice weekend. Love you guys. Bye.